And Stad Saputo for RSL's first ever trip to Montreal, just the second ever meeting with the Montreal Impact a year. Four changes overall. Kwame watson Sirbo comes in the central part of the fence alongside Chris Schuler. Lavelle Palmer comes in as well. Sebastian Velasquez up in the midfield. Two changes. Yeah, two changes overall, but a transformation in the for formation. Going to a 4-4-2. Maxime Tussaud comes in on the left-hand side. Justin Mapp in front. Andres Romero on the right. Do not allow him to point to the spot. The rain has stopped today, but the wind, it will be a factor here. It's Stad Saputo. As we're underway, terrific to have you along for the ride, Bill Riley and Brian Dunseth on an early Saturday afternoon back in Salt Lake City. A 2-1 loss at New York, but statistically they were outstanding in their last game. That's why it's a bit of a surprise that they're going back to the 4-4-2, and that 4-1-4-1 had over 400 passes. There's Palmer, ball flicked up and in! It's deflected in! Was it off Ferrari or Sandoval? That was Lavelle Palmer from distance. It looked like it hit the number 13 center back, Matteo Ferrari. And Troy Perkins couldn't backpedal quick enough. That ball took a big loop. But for Lavelle Palmer, getting the start on the right-hand side of the defense tonight, replacing Tony Beltran in the starting spot. Sandoval lays off for Grabovoy, goes through to Javier Morales, flicked into space. Beckerman gets his head up early. And Lavelle Palmer, time, space, no pressure, takes his chances, takes the deflection off Matteo Ferrari. Unfortunately, Ferrari, that will be an own goal against him. But for Real Salt Lake, taking the big 1-0 lead on the road in the seventh minute. Hand side on the left-hand side, tracking back right here on the back of Brovsky. He's been very, very active. Map wide. Justin Map in. Shot in front, the goal. Felipe levels the match in the 39th minute. Too much space for Map, and nobody marked Felipe as he slots it past Ramondo. And we're level here late in the first half. Now we talked about Montreal in the pregame show being very good at wide play. Map, Romero, very capable of creating those goal scoring opportunities. He finds that space in behind with Chris Winger tucked inside. Map gets his head up. This time plays with his right foot as opposed to cutting it back with his left. And Felipe, perfectly timed run, coming out of the midfield, right down the heart. Slight little touch, opens up his hips, feels the challenges. Game tying goal in the first half. Beckerman. Wide for Morales. Javi from distance. Oh. Whoa, just parried over the top that time by Perkins. A tremendous hit from Morales. That, 22 is, a, yards that out. is just a horrific mistake across the back line for Montreal. You're 2v1 right there. You're in a perfect spot. Look at where the two defenders are. Not an ounce of pressure. And then they just back off. Javi gets inside. Troy Perkins again almost gets caught off his line. That's a well-taken strike from Javier Morales. Because having Lavelle Palmer playing right back is very comfortable in possession. He's played defensive midfielder for years with the Houston Dynamo. Here's Winger, 25 yards out, back to Morales. To Beckerman. Kyle, left foot, he drives just wide! Didn't miss by much that time as he got it back on the left. Yeah, inches, just inches outside that far left post of Troy Perkins. Good possession, good build up out of the back for Real Salt Lake. Probing, moving, Kyle Beckerman stepping up at the last second. Good little ball inside. That slight little hesitation, that slight little hitch to get it back to his left foot, get that space, and he just pulled it by inches. Sonny, I've got to say this first and second half has started much like the first half, it, with a lot of space for RSL. And again, you look at those numbers, those are two blocks of four at the top of the 18-yard box. 50th minute, 1-1. Wenger, back with Schuler. Keeps it in. Wenger in, cuts it back. Shot, save, Ramondo! And DeVaio asking, where was the ball? He wanted it on that back post. Well, I, I think he deserved to take that shot at that angle, but he didn't get all of it. The, the angle and the pace behind it was easy enough for Nick Romano to cover up, but he wins the challenge. Schuler goes down. Somehow that ball kind of gets away, gets his head up. Good recovery run, but the movements from Lavelle Palmer just enough, and DeVaio, there's that movement. Dips in, pulls off. If he moves at all, he's probably going to sprint off the line again, but 
Again, what's the point? Bernier, just over the top. If you're Kamara, a tough distance there. If you're Kamara, why waste a hundred yards of running just to do that? Bernier, you see the idea as he comes up and over, very hard from that distance to get it up over the wall and drop back down. Ultimate skill check from that angle. Never ever had a chance. 76th minute. Plays it in. Flicked on by Garcia. Watson Cerebo there. Shot and a goal! It's Beckerman! And it's 2-1 RSL in the 77th minute. Hey! The captain breaks the tie here late in Montreal. Well, we talked about it in the first half. Montreal electing to not go with anybody near post or far post, and it comes back to Hano. Absolutely no reason why you wouldn't have someone on either post. Troy Perkins having to cover all by himself. Ball drops down. Kyle Beckerman reacts quickly, proactive as opposed to being reactive. Lead late like they did 2-1 the other night in New England. Let's hope there aren't any unfortunate handballs in the box tonight. DeVaio in! DeVaio hits the post and it spins in! He's done it again for the sixth time this year and the fifth time at home. Marco DeVaio levels the match in the 80th minute. A good run down the heart of the defense as DeVaio just pulls off. He's absolutely in an onside. Oh, he is. He's onside, top of your screen. It's a delayed ball, but Chris Wingert had dropped a little bit deeper. And Wingert, based on his reaction, he knows. It's so slight little touch from Wingert. DeVaio gets his head up. Romando gets a touch to it. Looks like it hits the inside of the post, but he's in an onside position. Now back again in Major League Soccer. And has not yet found the back of the net. There's four helpers so far this year. Here's Morales. Javi. Zhao. He's in. Plata. Big save. Perkins. <laughs> Levayo. And he'll fire it wide. Well, it didn't take long for Plata to make an impact and a big save by Perkins. Right, he gets on his horse, he gets in behind, perfectly weighted ball from Javier Morales, slight hesitation, couldn't get his feet set. It's a great job from Troy Perkins, comes up, stays big, takes that right off the chest, condenses the space, doesn't allow Plata. That would that acts the opportunity right there. Back in again. Loose in front, a shot and goal! It's Ferrari! Who breaks the tie in the third minute of extra time. 3-2 Montreal. Making amends for the own goal early. The impact lead at 3-2. Ends up getting his second goal of the night. A tussle at the bottom of your screen. And he's just completely unmarked. It's completely unmarked. Everybody goes to the ball. Mateo Ferrari completely unmarked, turns, quickly gets his shot off. Nothing Nick Romano can do. Stevenson. And that's that. Alan Chapman blows his whistle and tells us that 90 minutes of soccer have been played here today in Montreal at Stade Saputo.